You can't force a connection. Family could be something that is just a shared experience or forced interaction, but family is always something that'll cross the line of connection and interaction. Brotherhood does too. Brotherhood isn't just a group of guys hanging out or being actual brothers with someone. It's a new feeling I've had over the past months. This week I cut my hair, I felt like a new version of me, and it was like I was just a new version. It was me, I was born. My hair was curly, I looked like how I was when I was just a little kid. And that same week, I met a group of guys who have constantly pushed me to stop doubting my abilities and do what I believe in. Meeting Terra Verde changed the path of my life. I switched directions. Immediately starting a project with people who I not only just met, but seemed to be as passionate about music and art as I am, was something off-putting to me at first. I thought it was just too good to be true, you know, front. I was scared something would go wrong eventually, until we finally set up an interview together. Everyone in the group brings something to the table to balance each other out, all with unique perspectives and ideas on anything imaginable. They all move different, but they're also like a school fish, a pack, a collective, brainchild, holy mountain, actively being in a group and not forcing anything to come out of it, appreciating their time apart and together. When I let myself be closer to others, I was able to form connections like I found in Terra. I'm taking so many risks with letting myself be seen in front of, <laughs> and be seen in front and in front of others. I'm jumping into cold water, not looking as I leap. I'm chasing thrills with this new love of vulnerability, weeding out so much and loving to love, especially with my girl creative friends. When I'm with them, there's truly no rules. There's no competition. Female creatives and women in general need spaces to build themselves up and keep each other going. I thank God every day that I found my scene. We could take over the world truthfully if we stay together. I love feeling like a little kid again with my friends. Some teenage boy shit. Running around screaming at people, making a scene, lying to strangers just for the fun of it, going to the movie theater blitz out of our minds watching Jackass Forever, being in a mosh pit, trusting everyone in it, drinking a lot of caffeinated bevs, staying up till dawn, dancing with strangers, being the loudest in the room, feeling like the fourth grade of the group sometimes, realizing I'm awful at flirting with girls, blaring the music, not going loud enough, crying with my friends, holding them, letting me see it, Seeing these bruises when I wake up after a show, remembering how out of breath I was, smiling through getting punched in the mouth, rolling down those hills, shotgunning with zero grace, watching movies for the fun of it again, asking others any sort of questions just out of pure curiosity, not holding back out of the fear. Kings, kings, and more kings. Having in-depth conversations about music that lead into arguments, shouting out everything I want to say about something I'm passionate about as fast as humanly possible, hoping someone will want to talk about it. Realizing that I can always find these moments, these things that I love make me really happy. Feelings of brotherhood make these moments even more valuable to me and heighten my emotions to new levels. This is the most vulnerable I've ever fucking felt in my whole entire life. I know sadly that no one will ever have the full truth about anyone, nor should we. I love to love these scenes and communities I'm in. But I also love that we all live our separate little lives, having no need to be there for everything. I love being alive and constantly growing with different groups and individuals from said groups in multiple of ways. Growing with and separate, climbing up our own hills and paths, I feel alive and I feel beautiful. Alright, that's it.